There's nothing worse when you scratch your boat. The trailer could do it, could be an incident at a marina or a dock, or it just happens when you walk past your console. So today, for the series, we're gonna create what do you do when you scratch your boat and how easily you could correct that scratch. And by the time you finish seeing this series, you'll be able to work out where do I start, what do I need, and let's have a go, and let's see how we go. So we're gonna scratch up the uh, black, probably the worst color in relation to showing scratches and highlighting scratches. Bucket of water. Bucket of water, that's for your wet and dry sandpaper. Okay. So we've got four gradients of sandpaper here. You start with your coarser uh, gradient of sandpaper, and then you use your lighter ones to remove the scratches. When you're doing it, when do you know when to stop and go to the next one? And what are you watching out for when you go from step to step? You dry it with the rag after you've sanded each gradient and you'll see, you can see that the, uh, the scratches are becoming lighter and lighter. And okay. yeah, once you start sanding, especially on a black gel coat, it's yep. gonna look worse before it gets better, but okay, so it will get better. And getting better is going to the next gradient yep. and then getting better and then finishing over on this end of the table, which is compounding Nothing. and puffing and stuff. Sandpaper, easy to understand, four levels with a bit of water being a wet application. Cutting compound. Yeah, you can get many different types of uh, cutting compounds. And then we've got a lower cut sort of finishing compound. You know, if you really want a, like a piano finish, they call it, you can use this and that will actually okay. remove the swill marks from... So that's the Pro Pro. Pro Pro, that's yeah. That's the Pro Finish, we'll, everyone will be happy with. To go to the next level, we'll use a product like this. Uh, you can eliminate your 1500 sandpaper scuffs with just a compound and with a, with a rag, you can just buff it off. And the, but the buff is again, if you're going to do it pro, you can just use a battery powered buff from a hardware yep, and get that's the same it. finish. Yep, or even a 9 inch grinder with a, an adapter on it. So this is the 3M coarse cut compound, high gloss, and then this is the 3M finesse. Grab the worst gel coat you can get to show a scratch, we're going to scratch it up now. What happens in? Boating. If your trailer has grabbed the guard when it shouldn't grab the marina. So it looks like an S bend here. So we're going to bring that back to life. Um, and obviously, we're using black to really highlight uh, obviously the scratch compared to a white. And we'll show you on a boat, a black boat, and we can pick obviously a lighter colored boat just to show you how it looks when you first do it and then what the steps are every time you go through uh, the process here with really not expensive materials and it's really elbow grease once you buy the materials. All right, so we're gonna start with a bit of 400 here. That'll remove the bulk of the scratch and then we're just removing the actual sand marks. So we'll go through the gradients of sandpaper. So we'll just give this a bit of a light rub. It is recommended if you are doing a lot of sanding, uh, I would use a sanding block. Just for this demonstration though, I'm just removing some light scratches. So. That's the 400. Now, as we said earlier, it looks worse before it gets better. So now we're gonna remove the 400 sandpaper marks with a bit of 800. So it's important to keep, keep wetting your sandpaper as you sand more. Otherwise, it's just gonna clog up with gel coat and you're just gonna go through your sandpaper very quickly and it's not gonna work properly. So as you go through your gradients, it's important to make sure that you're sanding around and getting bigger every time. So you're removing all the sand marks from the previous gradient. Okay, so that was 800. Now we're gonna do our 1200. And just remembering with each gradient, you're going wider and wider to make sure that you're removing all of those sand marks. All right, we'll dry them off and have a look. Now, as we're getting into our finer sandpapers, you notice it's a more even kind of finish. It's, you can't see the scratches as much in there. So, all right, we're about to finish off with our 1500. I find it best to sand the one way and try and come with that e even finish at the end. Just makes buffing a lot easier to get rid of those uh, sand marks. Okay, so looks like we've removed all of our scratch marks there. All right guys, so for the purpose of the vi this video, I'm gonna be using a mini buff, just because it's a small piece of fiberglass. So we're gonna start off by putting a little bit of our high gloss compound, cutting compound, 
and just spread a little bit around, not too much. And now we want to hit it with the buff. Now it's important to not put too much pressure when you're buffing. Let the compound do the work and work it in because you can burn the gel coat. So you just want to let the compound do its work. Might put a little bit more on this other side. As you can see, there's no more scratch. So the next step would be to use a bit of finesse. So you might see there's a little bit of hazing around from the coarse cut compound. So the next step would be to go a finer finish compound like the 3M Finesse. Okay, so we've gone through our steps. We've sanded it. We've buffed it and then I've finished it with a bit of finesse for that high gloss and I think you'll agree that it's, it's come out pretty nice. So stay tuned for more boat tips.